All right, and this next video is very much in the same ilk as the last one, I think. The use of TikTok sparks anger for some Star Citizen backers. This is from Montoya. It's been a long time since we've uh, watched a Montoya video, and I am very much looking forward to his take on this. He's, um, you know, similarly aged to myself. Uh, I have a TikTok account. I've never used it. I just parked my name there. Um, and I, I've, I've seen TikToks on, I guess, YouTube, but like for like you laugh, you lose challenge videos or something, but I don't actively use it. I've never used it before. And um, Star Citizen is trying to grow their TikTok presence and people are not very happy about it. So let's see what Montoya's thought process is. Ladies and gentlemen, around welcome this. back to the channel. Grab onto your hats. Also this is going to be slightly political, so uh, warning, all right? Star Citizen saying you can now use TikTok as a platform for your submissions for the Ship Showdown contest. Not a big deal, right? Wrong. <laughs> Welcome yeah, back, guys. As we can see by the deal. Spectrum thread, <laughs> this did not go over well. I know we're going to check out Spectrum. Bear with me. I know this yes. is going to be rough, but we're going to do it because this Mistakes is where the drama made, is. <laughs> okay. Uh, check out these reactions, all right. A TikTok Ship Showdown Contest. Now, what is Ship Showdown? Let me just go through that first, I guess. Okay. Uh, every year, there's a competition where you get to make a video about the, your favorite ship, and then other people get to make videos about their ships, and then you put it up against each other, and then the winning ship gets some new fancy skin. Everyone is happy. What's the problem? The problem Nobody is, is ever happy. saying you can now. Everyone is happy does not apply to Ship Showdown ever, Montoya. Ever. <laughs> that is not true. It is this this like I don't like extreme nerd LARPing battle of like lightning bolt, lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Like it is it is the most insane thing I've seen ever in the Star Citizen community is ship showdown the last two D two you years. TikTok. Now let me explain the problem here. First of all, if you are really, really concerned about your security, smash your cell phone right now because there's no way around that. Reactions to the thread, 150 thumbs down. 110 face vomiting <laughs> emojis. 104, <laughs> no entry signs. 90 people apparently have bowel movements. And 49 <laughs> individuals have correctly identified the Chinese flag because TikTok <laughs> is owned by ByteDance, which sorry, is I'm a dying. Chinese company. <laughs> ByteDance actually purchased Musical.ly, if you remember them, uh, for $800 million, if I remember correctly. What was it? Uh, I don't have the price here, but I believe it was $800 million, and this is in 2018. So TikTok acquired Musical.ly, and that's how they got their Oh, start. okay. I didn't uh, know so it was the acquired. the concern is this. I remember Musical.ly your data, commercials. Your metadata. And it doesn't matter what app you're using the phone. It's very likely that your metadata, such as location, the type of phone you're using, uh, and other things, maybe even nefarious, is access to your camera and your microphone, which are permissions that some apps will need. If you use Instagram or you use Facebook or you upload any photo onto Twitter from your phone, there's access information in that photo giving access to a lot of people, uh, giving information about your phone, where the picture was taken, and uh, so forth. So uh, if data really is, if metadata leaking out. Listen, I I told this the other day to the stream, and, and this will probably go up on YouTube, so I, I'm going to say this one as well. I watched the Netflix special where this lady was talking about, oh, they're going to get your data. They're going to get your data. When, when literally I grew up, they threw a giant thick book at your door that had everybody's data in it, literally where you live and your fucking phone number. They threw it at your door and you could just pen through it and find out where people live. What data? What data, dude? Like, I'm sorry. Just to shoot a couple ads at me because I clicked on a, a, a Fortnite pillow ad, you know, like who cares? 
is your major concern when it comes to these topics? Smash it, it your used phone to be way right worse. now. If you do need a cell phone, hey, some of us have work phones and pleasure phones. One is for business, one is for not. That's why you keep your stuff separate and you have to worry or worry a bit less about that issue itself. So uh, a lot of people are obviously very concerned about the security part of this, and I, I get it. Look, it is a concern. Actually, there's a, a member of Test Squadron. And I actually his don't job get it. Is, to wake up in the morning and literally protect the United States of America against electronic intrusions. And a very long time ago, he said this to me, like what, right when TikTok was kicking off, he goes, don't have this app on your phone uh, because this is a security issue. If you're wondering what kind oh, wow. of issue it can be, um, well, look, even where's the article? Here it is. They're going to see my, uh, 2000, my reaction to uh, somebody, somebody's cooking but, uh, on TikTok. Trump was calling for a ban on TikTok. And the concern is that there are people in Beijing that may have interests in knowing your location data. Uh, if you remember back in uh, 2018, there was this one Fitbit type app uh, that, that showed a map of all the users, and it turns out that a number of the users happened to be in the military, and part of that resulted in very clear maps of military bases. As they do uh, PT, or as you go on patrol and you're walking around, uh, that was clearly recorded on their apps, on their phone, and this was released. Uh, they weren't, it was unknowingly though, they weren't trying to release important information, but if you're in the military and you are patrolling your base, you just gave a very clear outline of your base if you were using the app and the geolocation on. I guess the, if you look at the far right-hand side, that little square over there is showing a That's very clear wild. location of where that map is and a clear outline of what the base is. So that's showing you what can possibly happen if you are not careful with this. So the bottom line is I just don't get it from like a person with like my military, online activity. Or you are in reserves, or you are law enforcement, or you have any kind of DOD clearance, or you work in a place where has some people have DOD clearance and you're close to sensitive information or sensitive equipment, don't take your phone in, whether it's Facebook or whether it's Instagram or whatever, whatever it is, your phone should not be anywhere near those kind of places. And TikTok is one of the apps which your IT guys should be concerned about. But TikTok is obviously taking steps to this. The, the US is not blind to these problems. And TikTok was recently encouraged, shall we say, to push all this stuff over to Oracle, a US company, and uh, use Oracle's US cloud services. Uh, and our Oracle is holding on to all of that. So that is a bit better. But this so now does not the United mean States has all your data. that there isn't someone in Beijing that will have a key to this information. Always assume that someone will be able to access your metadata that is totally within the realm of possibility. But TikTok has made moves under pressure from the US government to move all its services over to Oracle. So that's how they're dealing with that. Can we get to the part where this is about a, a spaceship contest that nobody needs to participate in and is not a big deal at all? So back to the uh, issue here, obviously a lot of people upset by it. Holly Nerve saying, please don't use TikTok. Uh, plus one, not going to use TikTok. Zylo coming to the defense. We'll take a look. Uh, oh, no. Knight Rider got in there. <laughs> I was going to do this video yesterday, and I thought I would leave this all to percolate a bit because there were some just real gems in there. But I see Knight Rider got in there. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go down to my thread because there were some really good gems in there. And oh, he got it. <laughs> he got it all. He got, he oh, got Knight the Rider. Jibs. Well, poor guy. I, I'm sure he was up all night doing this. Also, Synthwave also doing the delete. There was some good stuff in there. Uh, crap. That was supposed to be the content of this video. <laughs> I'm going to have to wing it Knight now. Rider is but anyway, anti I came in and said, listen, uh, okay, there's two kind of people who are upset about this it's TikTok true. news. The people who are overly political and very concerned about your data and people who think TikTok is just a, an app for dancing girls. And it used to be that. Musical.ly was all about dancing and singing, but it's changed a lot. TikTok and its algorithm are very impressive. In fact, it doesn't matter what topic you like, whether it's fixing planes or remote control planes or history or geography or science, uh, whatever it is, TikTok has tons of topics. We'll take a look at some videos in a second about that. But uh, my thing was, hey, if people are concerned about being an app for dancing girls, it's more than that now. 
Uh, in fact, take a look at the stats here. In four years, TikTok has amassed one billion users, faster than any other social media app out there. I mean, there are some I think that's massive social media star citizen related channels in TikTok which are doing extremely well. So obviously, star citizen wants to jump in there and check them out. And ah, oh, it's too bad. <laughs> That's so uh, funny. One of the guys was trying to explain communism to me. Uh, another one of the guys <laughs> basically said that if you use TikTok, you must be a communist. And then he listed off all the bad things China's done and then told me to defend the bad things China has done. It was really good. Uh, too bad it was deleted. But anyway, that was the gist of it. The, but what uh, is let's go this, to the app dude? itself. Now, this is the web-based version of it. You don't... Uh, typically use this. Uh, TikTok is more of a mobile app and looks great on your phone. And uh, Star Citizen coming along with 3,000 followers so far, which I believe will grow very quickly because some very big Star Citizen related channels which have numbers much higher than that. Here we see Jake running along. Uh, he was recently at the Tacoma Bar Citizen and everyone's very happy to see him there. But uh, thrilling content. Uh, very exciting stuff. Thrilling and, uh, content. <laughs> should we yes, look at something? For some reason, the algorithm fed this to me a bit earlier and I was just cracking up about it. If, you want to you take a peek? Come take a peek with me. It, you know, it's, so what they've done is they stripped the video off some, they stripped the music off some video, and for some reason the algorithm fed me this, and I was like, yeah, this is a good example. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we subjected to this. It's really good. Uh, I don't know. That just cracked me up. But uh, I mean, it doesn't have to be that. There's <laughs> tons of we, great material. Here's one why are, we're now really we're like. reacting to TikTok with Stephen uh, Bell, and he does uh, great shorts on uh, weapons of history and just historical weapons. Now, historical now we're just battles. checking out his favorite um, TikTok channel. Here's one of him talking what about a new this? segment that I like to call absolutely insane CIA operations. Mm -hmm. And I'm sick today, so this is what you get. So back in the 1950s, the CIA launched Operation Midnight Climax, which sounds like a really bad movie out of the 80s that you would not have been allowed to watch as a kid. Right. The purpose of which was to test the effectiveness of honeypot techniques in order to get information from men. And okay, I gotta watch that later. Because yes, you do, because you're literally making a YouTube video. What is going on right he's now? He's gonna talk about the CIA, CIA using honeypot techniques. Yeah, <laughs> um, so it doesn't matter what... Whatever your topic is, there's tons of great content on TikTok. So if you are not an active member of the military involved in super secret stuff and you have a phone you can just turn on GPS on, give TikTok a try. It, it really is a good app. And, uh, you know, I get it. I do understand. Yeah, we, it's clear you get it. He, like, he was... <laughs> He instantly, like in the middle of making a YouTube video, started scrolling, right? And just started watching videos because they're just addictive, right? It's it's actually crazy. But I'm confused about what this video is even about anymore because I look at it this way. There's very little time left in this video. I don't think he's going to get to this point. The platform is massive. CIG is a business all they're trying to do is reach more eyes and get more people to spend more money on this game and why wouldn't they go to tiktok you don't need to go there and participate in this this uh contest but they absolutely need to go there and participate in the platform if they're on instagram if they're on facebook if they're on youtube if they're on twitter why the fuck wouldn't they be on tiktok it just doesn't make any sense okay that's it. It's that simple. And the fact that we did not get there at all in this video is incredibly surprising to me from Montoya. It is just straight logic that they're going to go there regardless of whatever issues the, the uh, platform has because there's eyes there that don't have Star Citizen accounts. They're going to go anywhere where they can get more people to buy the game. It's literally their job, right? That's it. A lot of people are concerned. Uh, for those concerned about security, just don't download it. Use something yeah. else. And just if don't your concern go there. is, oh, TikTok isn't uh, for adults, it's for kids running around dancing in bikinis. Uh, look, if the algorithm is you feeding their you job was making videos of girls... Have you not been here for the last 10 years? That's clearly not the case. Bikinis. It's because you are watching those videos 
and liking or commenting and the algorithm is feeding you what you want, all right? <laughs> so if all you're seeing on TikTok is that, the problem's not TikTok. The algorithm is great. The problem's you. Uh, so go <laughs> check out the good stuff on there. There's Calling out the coomers. Stuff. And uh, with that, I think I will leave you. So let me know what Montoya your thoughts are. calling out the coomers, dude. And wanting to make more use of TikTok. Security issues aside, is this something you want to go check out? Let me know. Post below. And if you enjoy my content, as always, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll catch you on the next one and on TikTok. I think he, yeah, he does have a TikTok account, if I remember from him in that thread. But uh, yeah, I I don't know why he didn't get there to that thing. Um, you don't have to use it. Nobody's saying you have to use it. But CIG does. CIG does. It's just what they have to do. So um, I don't plan on using it. I may because of the whole thing on Twitch where we're now uh, able to simultaneously live stream there. But uh, I'll look into that and see how that works. The The whole idea of of uh people being mad that they run a ran a contest over there is is pretty silly i'm sorry it's just just silly stuff they have to be there guys